If you go to the gym a lot, you probably use energy drinks and they're fundamentally, it's a fruity flavoured drink with lots of sugar in it and some salt. And the idea is that uh, the sugar replenishes your energy quickly um, and the salt replaces lost electrolytes, the, basically the sodium that's coming out in the sweat through your skin. And if you uh, want to make your own, then it's, it's quite simple. I, I reuse this bottle because it's got this handy cap. Um, and every time I reuse it, I just give it a thorough rinse just to make sure it's sterile. And so this is a Powerade bottle. And I improvised the ingredients. I just did it by trial and error. And latterly, I decided to actually read the ingredients of one of these bottles and then compared them. And I was pretty much exact what was in them in ratio of the salt and the sugar. You can just use a standard... Uh, something like a, a fruit concentrate, like Ribena or something like that, with lots of sugar in it, and then just add some salt, it'll have the same effect. But here's how you can make a really neutral tasting one that's actually quite pleasant. So we're going to start by adding the sugar, and all the measurements here for this 500 milliliter or 16 fluid ounce bottle are, I'm going to do them all with a teaspoon. So let's start off the sugar. I'm going to put in three heaped teaspoons of sugar. Technically speaking, if it was going to be the same strength as the supermarket one, uh, it would be four heaped teaspoons. But I find, because sugar is naturally quite addictive, it's very moorish, uh, if I put too much sugar in, it makes me drink the drink too quickly, and I get halfway through the session at the gym and it's finished. So um, you can add too much sugar, so I go for this uh, three heaped teaspoons. And while that might sound a lot of sugar to add to a drink, uh, in this case, you're the point of it is it's replacing the burnt up energy as you exercise at the gym. The next ingredient is going to be the salt and it's just literally a pinch. Just out of interest, I put a pinch. I, I looked at the ing commercial ingredients, which was about 200 milligrams, and then I actually put a pinch on a set of accurate scales and it was exactly 200 milligrams. So uh, 200 milligrams just... In this case, you know, just just grab a pinch of salt and stick it in. It's very much to taste. If you add too much salt, it'll be it can make it unpleasant. Too little, and it will just be lacking. It's you'll just get a feel to for what you like the most. The another thing I add to actually give it a bit of zest is using bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate. And this scoop is a half teaspoon scoop, and just one level half teaspoon of this. And Likewise, one level half teaspoon of citric acid. And the citric acid imparts a zing to it, like a sort of citrus zing. While the bicarbonate of soda uh, reacts with the citric acid and gives it a sparkle as well. You don't want it too fizzy, uh, because a fizzy drink at the gym is just a terrible idea. I have not brought the water through one moment. Now this is where, if you live in Scotland or the Isle of Man or whatever, uh, that's got fresh, clean tap water, uh, soft tap water, then you can just add water straight from the tap to this. And it'll fizz slightly. Add cold water. If you add hot water, it'll fizz a lot. And just basically top that bottle up to the top. And put the cap on. And initially, if you give it a shake, you notice that because the sugar is fairly large granules, it won't dissolve immediately. It will just sit at the bottom of the bottle. But uh, I just tend to, when I get back from the gym, I'll put the lawn, my gym equipment in the washing machine and then I'll come through and I'll prepare. I'll give this bottle a wash and a cap a wash. I'll make this drink and then stick it in the fridge. It doesn't take long to do it at all. And uh, by the time I come to the next session at the gym, which is uh, usually every second day of the week, that sugar will have completely dissolved and the drink will be all chilled and ready to, ready to go. And it just means that you end up with a nice, neutral, sugary, salty drink. It's just ideal for the gym. It's really quite, uh, it's quite nice. It's very refreshing indeed. So a very simple energy drink and one that you know all the ingredients that are in it.